Budget PC gaming is a home for many PC gamers. And in this video, I'll be discussing how you can build a budget gaming PC for less than a thousand US dollars. Roughly about 20,000 rand. At the heart of every gaming PC, there's a CPU. And for budget gaming, Intel Core i5s are the budget kings. You can either buy the Intel Core i5 10600K or Core i5 11400F. The case part comes unlocked and you can actually do some overclocking on it. However, it doesn't include a stock fan, so you will need to buy a fan separate. But in any case, you can buy the Cooler Master Hyper 212 as your air cooler and you'll be good to go should you wish to buy the Intel Core i5 10600K. Since both parts are Intel, we don't have to worry about looking at AMD motherboards, so we might as well look at the B560 range or the Z590 range. If you're, if you're working with an extremely tight budget, you should definitely focus only on the B560 motherboards because these are reasonably cheaper compared to the Z590 motherboards simply because they don't allow you to overclock your CPU but they come with support for Intel XMP where you can run your memory at whatever rated speeds up to 3200 MHz whereas Z590 motherboards allow you to overclock your CPUs the best budget gaming B560 motherboard is the ASUS Tough Gaming B560 Plus Wi-Fi. And it's a steal for what you get. Especially considering that this is a full ATX motherboard. If for some reason you're looking for a smaller motherboard, then there's just two options for you. That's the Gigabyte Aorus Pro or Gigabyte Aorus Elite. The Aorus Elite is the cheaper of the two. Depending on your budget, you can pick either one. they almost the same. For Z590 motherboards, you can get your Gigabyte Z590 UD, the Gigabyte Z590 Gaming X, the MSI Z590A Pro, or the ASUS Z590 Pro 4. Of all the Z590 motherboards, the ASRock Z590 Pro 4 is by far the weakest and should not be used or should not be bought if you're planning to upgrade later to a high end intel cpu like your i9 series because the vrfs on this motherboard are quite weak and they tend to overheat the amd rx 6600 xt is literally the king of 1080p gaming at the price that it comes in at in south africa you can find the rx 6600 xt way cheaper than your nvidia rtx 3060 you can find a reasonable RX 6600 XT from Eve Tech or from Woodway. But if for some reason you are not a fan of AMD, then you can also get the 3060. The NVIDIA RTX 3060 is acceptable. It's okay. I mean, it gets the job done and has support for DLSS. So whether you pick the RTX 3060 or the RX 6600 XT, your 1080p gaming will most likely be fine. And you might also do some 1440p gaming. However, not so much 4K gaming. For memory, any 16 gigabyte kit running at 3200 megahertz should do. So literally, you can literally go pick from any, any manufacturer you wish. I'll link to some of the affordable memory kits in the description. If you're a serious gamer, you know that you need a fast boot drive for your PC if you're gonna do any kind of serious gaming on it. EveTech has some deals on 512 and 1TB SSDs, which I will link in the description, and you can go and buy whichever one you like. Bootway also has some affordable NVMe SSDs, which you can then go check them out. I'll also link to those in the description. You are not limited to buying from these two shops. This video is not sponsored by EveTech or Bootway. I just do most of my shopping from these two guys because their prices are incredible you should be targeting at least 650 watt power supplies primarily you need a power supply that has a 80 plus certification whether it's white bronze silver gold or platinum that shouldn't really matter 
but if you're going budget you wouldn't be buying a platinum rated power supply so if you're gonna keep a system for two to three years then you definitely need to at least buy reasonable components so you only upgrade maybe your motherboard and cpu when the time comes probably motherboard cpu and ram that's all for this video thank you so much for watching up to this far so if you enjoy this kind of content do remember to subscribe to my channel hit the like button or maybe catch me in the next one